You have precisely one of your Earth minutes, one five hundred and twenty-fifth thousandth of an Earth year, to query us. The voice emanating from the cold white light intoned. Well, thanks for that, I guess. I know everyone is shit scared and confused. My Uncle Pete is practically shitting himself, and my Aunt Rocky is running around saying, I told you so. I know some serious shit is going down on a global scale. I also know you're some fucking tentacle-faced alien race from beyond space-time, like some low-budget Golden Globus 80s movie. We have selected you as the sole human entity to hear our rationale. You shall remain on this planet after the absolution. We do this out of our immense magnanimity. Nice, thanks. You guys are great, really run a tight ship, I said. We are familiar with the human verbal technique known as sarcasm. You have 30 of your earth seconds left. He felt a dull nudge in his right flank as a tentacle poked and prodded his prone form strapped to the cold metallic table. Okay, I get it. You want me to revel in your glory? To bask in your perfect planning for how you took over Earth? Something like that, yes. Our evolution, much like your own, has favored positive feedback and encouragement. We like to hear from species that we annihilate that we're doing the right thing. Okay, fine. I'll bite. I'll ask you some goddamn questions. We're so pleased. Go on, Steven. It's Steve, sucker face. Only my mom calls me Steven, and that's only when she's pissed. As you wish, Steve. Carry on with your query. You have 15 seconds left. So, how'd you manage to take over an entire planet of upstanding warrior-like humans? I mean, we had nukes and shit. We could blow ourselves to bits, and probably anyone that came to mess with us. How'd you- Hey! Get that fucking tentacle away from my ass. This was not part of the deal, he said. Sorry, Steve. It's just that anal probing was in many of the alien invasion movies. We intercepted from Earth. We want to get it right. I'm glad you fellas are sticklers for detail, but I could do without the ass play. As you wish. Do go on, Steve. You were asking. He composed himself. How did you weaken us to the point that we couldn't defend ourselves? I mean, you guys are tiny and rubbery. You're like angry little jellyfish. That part was simple. We used the opposite of evolution. Come again, Steve said. Medicine, Steve. Medical care, hospitals, antibiotics, surgery, organ transplants, everything down to reading glasses. We gave you the gifts to make the weak reproduce. Outpace all the strong ones, your genes did the rest. The night sky boiled with the swirling colors of the dropships as they entered Earth's atmosphere. Ions erupting into a thousand arcing colors across the night sky as billions of humans below stared, slack-jawed, at what had become of them. Thank you all so much for listening. If you enjoyed this story, leave a like and subscribe to help feed the dark machine. Understandably, this was a little less horror based, but hopefully you enjoyed nonetheless. Share with other fans of horror, and if you have a story that you would like for me to read, check the description below for details.